and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, um, we're going to learn how to make a cat ears app, which will determine how many, how old your cat is. And we're going to actually use Swift. And this is our third video in our Swift series, so um, this continue. Sorry if we haven't made a lot of videos, but okay, let's get to it. Okay, I'm just going to show you the app. Here's the finished version of it. Say, I'm just going to actually... Um, toggle software keyboard so we can see it. As you see, it's a number pad, which means you can only enter numbers. So, it doesn't be a string, or else there will be an error. Okay, so let's say I enter one, and I click on find age. It says your cat is seven years old, because it multiplies by seven. And that's like the usual factor. You might think it's something different. But okay. And I'm just going to leave it as nothing. And you'll see what happens. Like it says please enter something in the text field because you have not entered anything. Okay. So let's get started by, I'm just going to click, click the simulator and open up Xcode. And um, I'm just going to create a new Xcode project. And um, it's going to be a single B application from iOS application. And I'm just going to call this cat years. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And I'm just going to click. Okay, so uh, here's the project. First thing we're going to do, I'm just going to go to main.storyboard and set the storyboard first. And just to get an iPhone screen, I'm just going to go to the file inspector and um, deflect use size classes, okay? And this will decide, this is the size you want, like if I wanted an iPhone, which I am developing for it right now, I'm just going to select iPhone, if you're developing for iPad, you select this, but I'm just gonna, we're developing for iPhone, so I'm going to keep it like this, and click here, and we should get this nice screen, if you don't, um, be sure to deselect this, okay? Okay, so let's go back down, and um, drag on a label that says cat ears okay and put it right here just leave it as its normal size because um if it's bigger we don't have a lot of room and drag on another label this is enter your sorry cat age and years Okay, I'm just going to drag this here, and next thing we're going to do is drag your, drag another, drag a text field on, and just make this wider. And I'm just going to go to the attributes inspector with this selected. In the placeholder text, I'm going to select, I'm going to select, I'm going to say cat's age here. And I'm just going to have another button that says find H. And I'm going to have a label. I'm actually going to drag this to the center. Make it nice and big and wide. Not that big. This big. Okay, this should be good. And I'm just gonna drag this to about the side and this to the side. And it's a little too big. Okay, we're gonna center align the text and set the lines to two, okay? Because there might be not enough text, okay? And I'm just going to set the background to a blue color. Whoops, sorry. Here. And just to make this button more visible, I'm going to set the text color to yellow. So it's more visible. Okay. At this point, let's run. And I'm just going to run on iPhone 5S. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
here it is, and I'm just gonna type. You can type anything in here. This button doesn't do anything yet. So we're gonna work on it, okay? Just close the simulator, and now the stuff we're gonna have linked up, the reason this is gonna say label, keep on saying label, is because we're gonna change it using the code. Um, you control that Swift. So that shows the H, and I'm, this is just the input. Actually, I'm just gonna go to keyboard type and select number pad. Okay? And uh, that's all we need. Okay, let's go to the controller.swift and I'm actually going to open the assistant editor here, which is these double circles. If you have Mavericks, it will look like a little bow tie, little tuxedo. Okay, I'm gonna actually control drag, control click drag here onto the code and it's gonna be an outlet. And here, we're gonna say um, it's the input. Okay, I'm gonna call it this input, and um, this is, and I'm gonna have this label, which is going to be, it's gonna be result, and, oops. okay, the last thing we're gonna do we're gonna actually drag this here and we're gonna select action and inside the name I'm gonna put find h and it creates this function for us. Okay, I'm just gonna close the assistant editor, open it back the utility view in the file the project navigator. Okay, I'm gonna save this file and save this file. I'm gonna go into find h and I'm gonna have a var variable with bar and it's going to be called it's going to, they're going to be called entered h equals te, um, input dot text dot two int okay what this does is it converts input dot text to an integer it's converting to a string to an int because you can't and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have another variable and it's going to be called cat years equals entered h times seven and um there's going to be a little error here what it says is we haven't unwrapped this because um, two int is an optional value, so what we need to do is we're going to put an exclamation mark here to unwrap the entered age value. Okay, and the next line I'm going to put label, sorry, result, dot text equals your cat is, is, here I'm going to put backslash parentheses, Cat years old and cat years. Okay, and let's try running. Okay, simulator open here. Okay, I'm just gonna enter something like two, and we should get 14, and that's what we get. Say so enter three or three and we should get 21 and that's what we get okay i'm just gonna um quit this quit the simulator and um here i'm just gonna gonna go to i mean that's actually i'm gonna go back to the simulator i'm gonna show you a problem we're gonna have to pick, fix and let's say I enter nothing and i click find h here's what we get we get a threading error or a debugging error because um, it says fatal error unexpectedly found nil, which is we hit, we found no value for this because since this is an optional and well I'm unwrapping you're, you, we unwrap this and we're just saying Swift I'm sure it'll have a value and it's gonna be an int and um, so yeah okay I'm gonna show you how to fix this let's uh sorry stop the program and I'm just gonna 
cut the cut these lines and I'm gonna have an if statement. It's gonna be enter H space exclamation mark equals nil. And if it is true, I'm just we're just gonna execute this tip code. I'm gonna have an else statement that says print or actually label result dot text equals Please enter something in the text field, okay? And it should be good for now, right now. Okay, let's say enter nothing. It says please enter something in the text field. And actually, so, and if we do enter something, it does give us this. So, successful. And there's another thing we're going to do, actually. And view and load, we're going to hide the label because we don't want a random label just sitting there saying label. And it's just not going to look good. So, actually, I'm just going to put label result dot text. I mean, hit it. Equals true. And um, when this is executed, result dot hidden equals false. Okay, now let's run again. Okay, so we don't see the label anymore. If we enter something like three, four, click find age, we get the label. Okay, and um, that's what we wanted. Again, let's go. Quit the simulator and okay guys thank you guys for watching and i hope you see you in my fourth video okay bye bye